The Ghana Press Association, together with the Women and Gender Equality Commission, staged a protest in front of the state-owned National Communications Network, Inc., over the removal of Natasha Smith from the news anchor's chair of the entity's news broadcast due to pregnancy and the one-month suspension without pay of Giselle Archibald over comments she made on Facebook towards a fellow employee to whom she has already apologized. Guyana Daily News understands from an official statement issued by Natasha Smith that the CEO of NCN, Mr. Lennox Cornett, said that the image was not looking good for the news. The management of NCN in response issued its own statement claiming that this is not so, but has failed to give any reason why Ms. Smith was removed from reading the news. As with the matter of Ms. Archibald Hogg, the management of NCN stated that due process was followed in arriving at its decision, but this newspaper understands from sources close to NCN that it does not have any social media policy in place or any policy that deals with an employee's private statement in a public domain via social media. These are some of the comments from the protesters. That we, depending on what comes out of this meeting today, we will be taking decisive action in terms of moving this process forward. We intend to intensify our action on all fronts, whether it be non-governmental, parastatal, and governmental, to bring this matter to a reasonable conclusion that we have. Before. Would the GPA would have received um, maybe complaints in the past about similar, or would have received similar complaints in the past with respect to the media outlets? Well, generally, yes, is... people uh, would bring complaints at various levels, but that is the problem. I mean, we must compliment our colleagues, Natasha and Chisel, for standing up for their rights and ultimately for the rights of other colleagues who will find themselves in similar situations in the future. The fact of the matter is that our colleagues get into all sorts of problems, whether it be conditions of work or problems with their supervisors. But in terms of putting it down and writing in a statement to the association, they hardly want to do that for fear of victimization. Mm -hmm. So again, in that context, I'm saying that uh, Giselle and Natasha must be complimented and they must stand out as uh, standard bearers in influencing our colleagues that they too have a right and they should not be fearful in bringing their grievances to the association as well as to their collective bargaining units, such as the Clerical and Commercial Workers Union. Yes, we have received, um, we have received statements from both parties uh, so that we can form the basis for going forward to those talks this afternoon. And we are convinced that uh, what has transpired there ought to be remedied in favor of our two colleagues, Rissell and Natasha. Uh, which was on the grounds of pregnancy. Uh, both of us stood there calling it uh, a backward policy, calling it draconian, and then we also went into the then mayor of Georgetown, who was Mr. Hamilton Green, to plead our cause and to ask him to rescind the decision. The decision was subsequently rescinded with the government promising that they are going to review all policies as it relates to pregnancy since it was a violation of women's rights. It violates the CEDAW Convention, which is on this black card. It violates the Prevention of Discrimination Act. And it also violates Article 29 of the Constitution of Guyana, which is the supreme law, which guarantees women's rights. And basically, pregnancy is right. It is not a new infectious disease. It is a right of every woman to give birth. It is a right for her to carry her baby. It is a right for her to work. She's a professional woman. What does her being pregnant have to do with her ability to read the news? She has done so in 2011 when she was pregnant with twins. So what is the difference now? And so I find it uh, really disheartening that Mr. Lennox Cornett uh, is going to make statements pertaining to uh, he doesn't like what she looks like, but then he can go to sleep or close his eyes during that period that she's reading the news, but you can't take her off. She's a professional woman and she deserves the right to work. Uh, as it relates to uh, him trying to deny that it is so, she has since put out a statement claiming, saying that yes, he did say so. And I would like to tell him that women's rights are human rights and he has no right to deny her her right to work, her right to, uh, to enjoy her pregnancy while she's working. And where does he dream of this thing that uh, I've also heard about him saying that she's unmarried? Lyndon Forbes Samson Burnham, Guyana's first executive president abolished the law that made children bastards who were born out of wedlock. 
maybe he didn't get the memo and he needs to have a re-education into the laws of Guyana and what it stands for. But this is the 21st century and no woman deserves to be taken off of any set because she's pregnant. In 2011 she wasn't taken off, so what is so different now in 2016? And I find it a, a, a violation of women's rights, which are human rights. And Mr. Cornette needs to be edified and the Women and Gender Equality Commission is here to tell him that you're violating the rights of women and we are not going to tolerate it. But yeah, I see they took down their sign with the address code. I don't know if it's no longer in effect. But anyway, I'm here today because as everyone here is showing solidarity with Natasha Smith, because it is a sexist thing that the CEO can just look at a woman and say, you know, you can't go and um, well, be pregnant in the news without being married. And that's basically it. I don't really have anything else to say. Catch the full story of the protests and other news in our daily e-paper or via our website at www.guyanadailynews.com.